Well, we've all heard of the Canadian Express Entry Pathway or process. What is the Express Entry process really? How does it work? And most importantly, how did it all go in the year 2020? Express Entry is Canada's application management system for all aspiring applicants wanting to come to Canada. Anyone wanting to apply creates an Express Entry profile and they enter the Express Entry pool. The Government of Canada does bi-weekly draws and these draws have a cut-off CRS score and anyone in the pool with that particular CRS score or higher gets an invitation to apply for permanent residence. Within 60 days, the applicant has to put in a PR application and if successful, at the very end of that process, the applicant receives what is known as a COPR or a confirmation of permanent residence. This is the all-important travel document with which one enters Canada as a permanent resident. That is the express entry process and the express entry pathway manages the government's three very important skilled economic migration programs, the Federal Skilled Worker Program, the Federal Skilled Trade Program and the Canadian Experience Class Program for anyone who's here, has acquired work experience and wants to stay on in Canada as a permanent resident. Twenty twenty saw a record number of invitations being rolled out. The government gave out approximately 107,350 invitations to apply to anyone who qualified. This was a result of 36 rounds of draws, which means throughout the course of 2020, 36 rounds of invitations were given out uh, to anyone who qualified and they were allowed to put in PR applications subsequently. 2020 also held records for the highest number of invitations rolled out and even the lowest number of invitations rolled out. Let's talk about the lowest first. On the 15th of April 2020, a PNP or a Provincial Nomination Program draw was conducted and only a small pool of people, which is 118 people, were given out invitations to apply. This is the lowest number. Towards the end of the year, however, the draws were more CEC concentrated, which means they were all for people already in Canada and for anyone who had acquired a year of work experience. These draws saw a large number of invitations given out and towards the end of the year, around 5,000 invitations were rolled out with every draw. This number made up for the deficit of applicants who could enter Canada in the year 2020. In terms of CRS cutoffs, the lowest CRS cutoff in 2020 was 415 for a federal skilled trade draw and for the Canadian experience class, the lowest CRS cutoff was 431. These are all interesting figures and summarize the year that was. The government is expected to roll out about 108,500 invitations in the year 2021. This is a higher number as there was a slight deficit with people not being able to enter Canada in the year 2020. We all know it was a year full of challenges and there were a lot of travel restrictions that barred even permanent residents or people with COPRs from entering into Canada. The year 2021 will see a lot more invitations being rolled out and the number is likely to go up successfully until the year 2023. Hence, if you're wondering where you stand as far as the express entry process is concerned, do you even qualify? Can you make use of the express entry pathway? Are there other alternatives for you? If these are the questions that are playing on your mind right now, please don't hesitate to reach out to us and we will guide you every step with knowledge that is professional and with knowledge that is transparent.